here's that probably like six month update on my MPP Solar 6048. Uh, powered my house, so there's that. I'll just show you real quick what's happening with it. So it's pretty much saying it's got 50 volts in the battery and then it's outputting zero volts out of the battery. So that's this is at the end of the day. So the battery is about 50% charge. I'd like it to be more, but that's okay. There's not a lot of sun right now, so there's not a lot you can do. If you can see where it says bypass, that's taking the AC input, bypassing it directly through it and powering the house. So what happens is, as the, you get some more solar PV and it charges the battery, you get to a certain point that you can set. Once the battery's that high, it'll switch over to battery power in the house, which is basically solar charging the battery power in your house. And if it gets too low, it'll switch back to bypass. So this unit powers my house all the time. It's got 40, it's got a 40 amp breaker coming into it, which it can use to bypass or charge the battery and it's got a 40 amp breaker going out which is what is solely what's powering my house so you got the first two wires the input the output the ac input output and you got your two pv hookups you got your 48 volt battery hookup and i do like these because the connections are large enough to put large wire in and they're robust they all hooked up fairly easy so i got four 48 bat four 12 volt batteries 48 volt battery they're ac delco deep cycle they're 210 reserve capacity this is supposed to have 200 amp hour battery that's pretty close to that i'd like to do four more but here's what it is i got my two solar disconnects there i got i got about 3,000 watts of solar panels i got about half my panels put up right now i need to put up 12 more i got 16 up right now so yeah works good i only have one because that's all i need but you can do two or three together if you needed to do a three phase power or just have more capacity yeah check it out